good morning everybody it is tuesday and uh we're departing gonna head to thermopolis wyoming ashley wants to check out the cold springs or the hot springs my bad and then we roll on to cody wyoming for the big cody stampede for the fourth of july run it is cowboy christmas and it's a really neat time of the year to be rodeoing just on account that there's so many rodeos going on and I'm so thankful to be busy. And with that being said, Smash, why don't you got this truck hooked up yet? I got everything else done. Oh my gosh, let's go. Get the truck hooked up. Just rodeoing. Seems to me that everything is packed up. The rig looks ready to rock and roll. Everything's hooked up. Mike Turner's in the truck. Smash, what do you think? You just look back there and see that that step isn't up. Come on, Smash, you're better than that. Huh? Got ice water pool? Yeah, I know. Right. Well, this is it. We're uh, getting in the truck. And we are rodeo bound and we can't slow down. Say hello, Ike. This is full time ranch security. He's our manager on the road, also security on the road. Smash on her phone. And we are ready to roll. Put this old thing and drive. And we're out of here. In this video, this vlog, I kind of want to show everybody a little bit of the day-to-day, -day, just the travel that we do. And everything that's going on. So yesterday, all right, let's restart, okay? When we left out, I did a little work on my truck, thought my truck was good. Come to find out, when we get about 300 miles from the house my truck starts getting hot again that gauge right there all the way up it's hot so i had to drive 50 45 mile an hour some spots all the way to denver which is a 10 hour drive and then we had another hour and a half to josh Cashels. really nice family great family that's where we stayed and come to find out my dropped my trailer head to Denver to the airport we drove 850 miles to Josh's dropped the trailer and then we drove another hour and a half back to Denver to fly out for the big Reno rodeo which was an awesome experience I wish I'd have done a little better job keeping everybody up to date on that but if you're following any of my social medias I think you'd have got enough to see how awesome Reno was so now back to my truck we fly back in to Denver and get in the truck and take off get on the highway and bam truck's hot again empty no trailer behind us so i had to take the truck to the shop yesterday get some work done on it and as of right now it's running where it needs to be running so thumbs up we got the truck fixed this is ashley's song Easy tops. She got legs. She knows how to choose them. <laughs> so we made it to Wheatland, Wyoming. Had to stop for a little bit of A and W. Get us a little food. Keep on trucking. Oops. 
stopping in here and getting a little diesel. Smash got the truck secured in. Just putting that money in this old truck. Buy diesel. Buy cost of living. Chase the dream. It's a lot of money, but ain't a better thing in the world doing what you love. I don't know where she thinks she's going, but it's her, oh, she got it. It's your turn, man this ship for a little bit, Smash. You gotta admit, when you're out on the road, traveling, getting to do the things that I get to do, I have my wife, and my dog, everything that's going on, and it is moments like this, which we have a dirty windshield, but nonetheless, we're out just getting to travel America. We're in the middle of nowhere in Wyoming, and it's just so beautiful mountains the scenery and just getting to basically live a dream that people dream to live like I mean check out that river across there so beautiful smash what do you think about it it's pretty beautiful it's also pretty sketchy when you're used to driving on flat land so how how is the Big summer run, the Cowboy Christmas. What do you, how do you feel about things? Pretty excited about it. <laughs> That's all you got to say. Well, I mean, I'm pretty excited. I don't know what else. I'm excited. Okay, she's excited as you can tell. <laughs> so, man, I just so thankful getting to do what I get to do, when I get to do, how I get to do. Travel America and twist the Toros. It'd be a Taurus now. It smashes the Taurus, it drags me along, but I'm thankful for that too. You're gonna travel, you might as well see. Oh, now she wants to talk. Just got us a camping spot here at the Fountain of Youth RV Park. Ike's over there checking things out. We're gonna get set up and maybe get get in the water in a little bit, hopefully. But nice little campground. Seems like it'll fit the bill. We'll see. So the camp set up. We're not wasting any time. We're heading straight for the water. Driving all day. Might as well treat ourselves, huh? Maybe. What do you think? Yeah. Huh? What do you think about this? I'm, I'm hustling, so that's why he's on earth. What do you think? 
blacked out. The camper's all blacked out. So you just a chatterbox till and put the camera on you and then you go silent. What's the deal? Tell me. I don't know. The whole world wants to know why Smash can't talk on camera. I can talk on camera. I don't have a problem with it. You're just not asking the right questions. If you're going to be an interviewer, you need to get better questions. I'm just trying to ask you how your day's been. My day's this been is the cold spring, hot spring, something cool. Looks really nice. Either way, I'm ready to get in there and check it out. Wait and see. I don't know. I don't even know where she's taking us. What this one's famous for it is. There's like a volcano, supposedly, inside the pool that you can set around. Kind of looks man-made to me. What do you think? Ex it says extremely hot, no swim. Well, I guess it is from there. That's what that says. So I'm guessing that the whole pool is warm. Oh yeah. Wow. That's hot. Well this one's really hot. So like they mix it and like cool it down like It says no swimming. Hot. So we're not getting on this side. But nonetheless. That is a volcano spitting out mineral water that's extremely freaking hot 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 like I'm shocked and it smells horrible what do you think <laughs> but that's it that's mineral water coming out of a volcano they say Ah, uh, it's a video. <laughs> Got ya. Ha ha. Take a real picture. Alright, taking a real picture. Okay, it's getting, we're getting in the pool. It's gonna be really hot, I think. Oh, it's been hot. How hot is it, Smash? Um, it's hotter than Hotel Hot Tub, for dang sure. <laughs> it's pretty out here. I'll give it that. See how it goes. We're going for it. Farmer tan and all. Nice. <laughs> really nice? Really nice. Perfect. How is it? <sighs> How? I don't think I can do this. It's hot. All right, it's a, it's a little better here. Look at the sign, babe. Caution. Center pole may exceed 106 degrees. 105 is perfect. John Harrison, my clown friend, he's told me that. Specifically, 105 is a perfect temp for a hot tub. I'm going in. fun. Well, workout's complete and the hot tub's complete. Smash just got back with dinner, cooking some home raised beef. All right, what do you think about it all, bud? Pretty nice RV park here. Good morning, Smash. Just like that, we're uh, trip here at Thermopolis is done, and we're hitting the road again.
by the Daughters of the American Revolution, 1962. But there's a grave right there from 1892. It's old. On to the next one. Well, we've been on the road. We finally made Cody, Wyoming. After the tour stops, traveling, tourist. World famous Stampede Park. Cody, Wyoming. Glad to be here. Ready to get rolling. Feel sorry for the bulls. Check it out. Like that, we are set up. Cody, Wyoming. Rock and roll, ready to go. Summer run's kicking off. If you want to keep up with my travels, keep on watching my YouTube channel or my social medias, Instagram and Facebook. Rodeo time. Let's do it.